Hi everyone, this is Kamel. Welcome back to the official channel of Video Prague Flagger. New series of Video Prague Guide Tutorial are available in the channel where you can find a complete set of videos showing you how to use Video Prague Flagger to create stunning videos from scratch. Before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box below to download the software for free. If you want to edit videos to the beat of the music, but have no much music knowledge or editing skills, Video Prog Flagger offers three audio analysis options for helping us take over the complications. Audio onset, audio beat, and audio silence, all of which are important indicators for syncing videos to the beat of the song, and they are for different scenarios and source audio files. First of all, it's audio onset. It's best for analyzing the music with loud percussions like drums or sound effects like gunshots. This mode will mark the detected results with irregular green points. Next is audio beat. It's best for analyzing rhythmic music. We can easily detect the beats of the music. After analyzing the beats per minute of the sound accurately, it shows them in the waveforms with grid points and highlights predicted strong beats with red points at regular intervals. The red points can help us quickly find the beats of the music or make the sync to beat slideshows. Super handy to use. Let's get into the audio silence option. It's best for detecting the silence actions in an audio clip. It labels the silence sections with blue points in pairs. With this mode, we can quickly figure out all silent moments in an audio clip before applying the edits. First, open up the software, create a project. Click on the plus icon on the upper left corner, import the source footage to media library, drag the audio clip onto audio track, select it, Find the audio icon under the preview window. Click on it to open the audio editor panel. Let's preview the audio. We can hear this is an audio clip with obvious drum beats. Move to the left side of the audio editing toolbar. There we have an analyzer button. Click on this to open the audio analyzer panel to access the mentioned three audio analyzer options. We just heard the obvious drum beats, so here we select Audio Onset. Underneath Audio Onset, we can find the Ready Set Threshold of Onsets. Surely, we can also customize the parameters if the percussions in the audio is really strong. Drag the slider to the right to increase the volume. This can help us analyze and mark the peaks of the audio waveforms precisely. Then, let's click on the Analyze button the detection results are indicated by the irregular green points. If the percussion is weak, we can decrease the threshold to make sure all the drum beats are detected. After clicking Analyze, we might find more detections appear in the result. If you want to analyze rhythmic music, just like this song, Then click on the Analyzer button to open up a new panel. Select Audio Beat. In Highlights Interval option, we can see the value of the beats to decide the interval between every two highlights. We can also adjust the offset parameters to achieve the specific demand. Click on Analyze. In the detection results, the red points represent highlights and the green points represent general beats. If you just need the highlights, simply click on Show Highlights Only on that panel, then click on Analyze. Now we can find only the red points that represent the strong rhythms displayed in the detection results. If we need to find the silences in the audio clip, select Audio Silence. By default, the sounds under minus 19 decibels will be treated as silence. We can customize the threshold to detect the audio at varying volumes. When finishing the analysis, we can quickly figure out all silent moments. And we're gonna analyze the audio with various sounds. 
we can combine two modes by taking any two of these options. Or let's find the All Options button and a check its box. No matter what analyzer we've selected, after analyzing the audio, we can find many points that can give us a hint. Now let's find the Add Marker icon and click on it. We will notice in the range of the selected green waveforms, Grido Proc Flagger automatically adds beam markers to the positions indicated by the points. Click on Apply. Get back to the audio track. These markers now appear on the audio tracks. Now let's drag the video on the video track. We can then take the reference on these markers for editing videos to the beat of the music. Next, we're going to make a detailed tutorial about how to add videos to the beat of the music. Just stay tuned for this. Alright, now you've reached this video about the audio analyzer in Video Park Flagger. I think you've got a comprehensive understanding of everything. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy! Bye!